Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Poco F3 and the Redmi K40. Now, yet again, we are talking about a MIUI based custom ROM. Now, this right here is recommended to me by Elite or yeah, I don't want to disclose his real name, but he plays a lot of BGMI. He has a Mi 11X and he has been a part of this channel since a very long time. So good recommendation there but in today's video we're going to see how to install this rom later we will have an initial impressions video coming as well but for now we're quickly going to see step by step how to install it and after installing it how does the rom look because we are going to install the gaming edition of this rom and it should give you better gaming experience i've heard that this rom gives you between 80 to 90 constant fps even in intense fights so if you have a mi 11x and if you're looking for a gaming rom which is based on mi ui this might be it but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going All right, so it says MIUI Casanova, MIUI port Indonesia, full de-bloat, more smoothness, better battery and performance. These are the flashing instructions, wipe cache data and metadata, flash ROM, reboot recovery again, format data and reboot system. Now there are two versions of this ROM, MI mod for daily use and MI max for gaming. It's based on MI US table 12.5.14, semi-thermal, performance tweak, touch improve, IDC pixel, I don't know what that means added TWRP Nepresi and Decrypt. This ROM is pre-rooted with Majisk for fixing device certification in Play Store. You have to enable Majisk hide and clear data of Play Store plus Play services then reboot phone. And these are the screenshots and it definitely definitely looks interesting. So now basic things that you need to take care of before installing any custom ROM you need to make sure that you have unlocked your bootloader and you have TWRP recovery installed. Another thing to take care of is your battery life should be more than 50% and you've backed up all the information on your phone's internal storage. Now once you've taken care of all of that for this particular ROM this is pre-rooted this is based on MIUI so there is just one file that we need that is the ROM file and before you actually begin you need to go to settings you need to remove your lock screen, your fingerprint scanner, your face unlock, your Google account, MI account and reboot the device once and then go to recovery. Now considering that we've taken care of all of those things, let's boot into TWRP. So press and hold volume up and power to boot into TWRP. All right, just like that we are in TWRP. So let's go to wipe, advanced, Dalvik, data. That's all that we are going to wipe. Now go to install, select this ROM, make sure inject TWRP after install is selected, swipe to confirm flash. Now this is a MIUI based ROM, so in all probability it will take time to flash, so please be patient while that happens. Go to the main screen, go to reboot and select recovery. Once you're booted back to recovery, go to wipe, go to format data, type in yes. If you get this error, ignore it. Now remember this is a MIUI based ROM so the first boot will take time. So the moment you click on reboot now you will have this beautiful simple boot animation of Casanova project. Now remember this is a MIUI based ROM and no matter how powerful your device is the first boot on MIUI takes a long time say two to three minutes and I'm going to see how long it takes on this one. So let's wait for the ROM to boot up and then, have, then we'll have a quick look at it. All right, so just like that, we have booted up to the home screen. And as you can see, MIUI that is so de-bloated, so smooth. That is something really, really neat. So let's go to settings over here. Let's go to my device and MIUI by Xiaomi.eu, CSNA Max. This is a gaming version of this particular ROM. So a gaming review would be really, really useful. Let's go to display over here. And the refresh rate is set to 120 Hertz, although it would have been great to see a 90 hertz option over there. Now, there is one thing that I would like to say over here. They claim that this ROM is very, very smooth and trust me, they are not. This is one of the smoothest MIUI based ROMs that I have used on this Mi 11X in a very, very long time. And even if you look at the home screen, you just have like 
4, 8, 12 and 15 just 15 applications that is almost aosp level debloating so that is something really really neat now when you have a lot of bloatware removed your phone will run smoother you will get better battery life so if you go to security over here let's actually see the security version 5.6 so it might have the new game turbo over here yes I think it has the new game turbo so that is something really neat but just look at this how fluid how smooth this is it is working really really smooth if you actually go to the launcher settings over here if you go to settings more so you have your system navigation and right so you have apple app world you don't have google feed but all in all if you ask me miui Cas casanova miui max whatever you want to call it this rom looks great for gaming and a review on this would be really really worth it and i'll definitely do a gaming review let me know in your thoughts in your comment section what do you think about this particular rom until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye